All right, guys, today we're in Gas City, Indiana, right off I-69, in between Fort Wayne and Indianapolis, and we're going to take you to a little British hipster joint that Grace has been many times. First time for me. Brace yourself. It's Payne's Frozen <laughs> Custard and Fish and Soup and Cheese. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu. They have different appetizers, salads, and breakfast. I will say their biscuits and gravy is delicious. But we're here for lunch today. Oh, nope, that's dessert. That's at the end. And they have various soups and grilled cheeses and sandwiches. I will say this, you can mix and match any of the soups with any of the grilled cheese, which I always do because the pepper jack grilled cheese is my favorite. There are some entrees, they specify beef entrees. They're most well known for their fish and chips because the owner and manager are both from across the pond. They do have a kid's menu. I was trying to convince Brent to get the L's cheese toasty today, but he wouldn't bite. All the different drinky drinks of the non-alcoholic variety and then they have a beer menu no matter what when you come you get a bean dip it is complimentary it is cold it does have bacon in it like a lot of bacon i can't ever taste it but my niece used to work here shout out ruby um and one time i was here with one of my friends who is vegetarian and i was like i'm pretty sure you can eat it and she was like i'm pretty sure no it has meat and then i texted my niece and she was like there's a crap ton of bacon do not feed a vegetarian it and they give you the bean dip and chippies i'm gonna swirl around that sour cream because i like sour cream it's just a good dip it's a very unique appetizer i'll be honest with you i don't know if it's a british thing this specific type of bean dip but it's good not really mexican tasting like you would think for a bean dip i don't know it's just really good a little balance of sweet and savory all right let's try this bean stuff bean stuff it's it smells like jarred bean dip <laughs> thinking about it it's kind of cilantro -y. You think? I don't know. Can you taste bacon? No. <laughs> Ooh, there's bees. Probably in there. I mean, the only thing I would say, like, it tastes good, but I don't understand why it's cold. That's weird. It would be a lot better if it was warm. Do you want me to ask if they'll put it in the microwave for you? <sighs> yeah, I can just breathe on it. Maybe we just need to come on a hot day, not a warm day, and it'll heat it up I'm not sure time. that sitting outside and letting your bean dip get to uh, space temperature is probably the best idea in the world. Space but, temperature? Yeah. Like it's outer not space? In room it's oh, not okay. room okay. Yeah. Outdoor temperature. That's fair. Um, also, shout out that they give you a big old thing of water. Not this mm -hmm. puny water that some places like to give you. Um, these bowls that they give you for the chips are like essentially the exact ones that I eat cereal out of. So. You're going to try and steal that bowl? I might. I could always use more cereal bowls. Yeah, you know, it's not like you have enough. So I got the sweet potato ginger. You guys got the wrong soup. Okay. Uh, oh, awesome. Thank you. So we have three soups and three grilled cheese now. So I guess we're going to have <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> could have just brought us a different bowl of soup. I know. Okay. It'll be lunch for me tomorrow, I guess. I don't know what it is. I guess I we'll find either. out. What did you even get? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well. Could have fooled me. Oh, could have fooled Unless me. Unless it's like clam chowder or something. I would have never known the difference. Mm. Pepper jack grilled cheese. It's a little spicy. It's so good. Well, it looks like that grilled cheese is regular, so I'm going to get to try three soups and two types of grilled cheese. It's weird when somebody else is sitting around crying because they have no food because they gave it to me. 
I didn't touch it. I'm clean. Right? It didn't even come close to you. No. I will say, this soup, I don't think Brent will like it. Because do you like ginger at all? In Chinese food, I do. It's very gingery. So, you might not Can like it. Can I put it. some general soda in it? Ooh, there we go. The grilled cheese is probably always my favorite part here. Even though it's like non-traditional bread. Like, you get these like silly little triangles. And a couple of random little yeah. leaves. Yeah, you get um, spinach leaves and they have balsamic on it. Huh. They dress the plate with it. So I always eat those, actually. Because I love spinach and balsamic. Nope. Actually, those were just lawn clippings. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Did you get the onion soup? The French I mean, onion it was soup? potato and onion or something. I don't know. It smells like onion. French onion soup. They don't have a French onion soup. I would have gotten that if they did. That's what it smells like. Well, it's not. But okay. It's much hotter, since apparently it was not the right soup that we got along with that one. Even though it's not like, I mean, we were here for what, like 10 seconds when she was like, you got the wrong soup. No eating. <laughs> Only slurp slowly. Hmm. I don't know what this is that you ordered. I don't know either. I guess we'll find out. It's not my favorite. Let's try the accidental soup. Or no. This was the accidental no, soup. No, that was that the, was the. That's what I ordered, apparently. It might be clam chowder, actually, because it does smell a little fishy. I don't know what I'm uh. eating. I like it. And then regular grilled cheese, mm, reg, just OG. your basic. That's good. The accidental soup might be my favorite. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Don't tell. Don't say it loud enough, or they'll make you pay for it. Mmm. Oh, you like it? Let's charge you. Yep. Do you know what this accidental soup is? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. I could not you, figure you out. Because she was like, yeah. this is my favorite of all oh, of them. Really? So, yeah, yeah I mean, we just didn't know what it was yeah. supposed to be. I didn't remember which one I ordered anyway, so I would have just eaten it and been like, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I It's like good, it. yeah. though. Uh, I have no idea what it is that I actually ordered. Potato, uh, onion, something? Maybe potato and onion. We'll have to rewatch the video and yeah. then like post like exactly, this is what we got. Well, the thing about it, like if you look online, um, like they have their menus and stuff online, and they have descriptions of everything. But I think since they printed out new menus and haven't gotten them like the way they wanted them yet, there's no description of anything on the menu that we that we showed earlier. So it's just like potato soup. Potato soup. Something else soup. <laughs> I've never been here before. I was like just kind of looking around trying to figure out what I was going to eat because it's not exactly my type of stuff normally. So it was just kind of like, oh, this is it. You're and doing now it for I the tube. What it was. Right. So, um, purely for the tube. Yeah. So this is, um, it smells oniony. It's probably not like as hot said. as when I tried it since we talked for so long now. Uh, it tastes fine. It just <laughs> doesn't really taste like anything I can pick out. Like, Okay, so I felt that way about that one too. Let me dip the me grilled cheese in it. Some cheese the pepper jack. Thoughts? It's better with the cheese. Yeah, I agree. But I like to better. dip. Yeah, it's a good thing Give to dip. Give me a dip. hot fudge sundae and dip some grilled cheese in it, and we're gonna have a better time. Really? Yeah. I've never done that before. Well, You're better than me. Thank you. This is the puree of cauliflower. This is what we had to finally ask because this is the soup that we didn't order but we got accidentally. I retried it after knowing that it was a cauliflower and I can taste it now. You know, it's kind of like that in your mind thing. Oh, absolutely. That's, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I would have been able to tell you immediately. Oh my god. Okay. At least I would have been able to tell you it's not clam chowder because I didn't throw up all over the place immediately. But. You're such a wuss about seafood. Seafood. I don't like it. All right, now you're gonna try mine, which is the um, some sort of ginger sweet apple, sweet ginger and apple, chicken noodle or something. Mm, there's no chicken or noodles. Pear, I think. It's probably gazpacho-y now that it's so cold. Boy, that's an odd. That's an odd taste for a soup. I like it. It's um, very sweet. It's definitely fruity. Um, it's a good autumn soup. It's well. The good thing is that it's spring and just <laughs> the first, the first day of the year that it's actually starting to feel like summer. Well, not right now because the sun just went away, but it was earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. 
It's good. If we're gonna rank here, mm -hmm. B rank, Uno, Dos, Tres. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. That cauliflower is really spread. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna put it in the soup. And the pepper jack is definitely the way to go with the grilled cheese. Are you doing all three soups? Dead? That's the Captain Planet of soup right there. By your powers combined. Delicious. Now you gotta do that with the grilled cheese to know if it's just as good or if it's just the chip that's carrying the load. <sighs> Fine. I know, I'm demanding. Dip one. Two. Dip two. Three. Oh, you're three. getting mixed. You're mixing soup around here. Is that it? Is that it? So the trick here is you come here and you ask them, <laughs> can I get every different flavor of soup that you have mixed <laughs> in one bowl together? Because individually they may not be the best thing that you've ever had but when you combine them together they're better captain planet <laughs> individually yeah. yeah they're uh they're good hopefully people watch this and they're like wait a minute if she idiots. thinks that <laughs> that cauliflower tastes like clam chowder then maybe she's had bad clam chowder and you may be right in indiana what do people expect i don't know it didn't come from a can of chunky it's not real don't knock my chunky soup it eats like a meal <laughs> it's good. It's just, if that's what we're basing all of soup kind mm -hmm. on, it's probably. Uh, all of soup kind. Is that copyrighted lacking. or no, since I said chunky instead of chunky? Um, you can say anything you want. I know. I like to ask you if things are copyrighted yep. when I say them. Obviously, it's not. So, we asked our server what the best dessert was or her favorite, and um, she recommended these. Sticky toffee pudding. Sticky toffee pudding. So I'm happy that there's caramel and there's <laughs> ice cream and these old fashioned spoons. This one reminds me of the spoons we had growing up, so that makes me happy. These are grandma spoons. Grandma spoons mm -hmm. for shizzle. All of the silver is, which is silverware is, which is kind of nice. It gives that like local cutesy charm. So I'm gonna try this first, which Brent thinks I'm not gonna like because of the texture, um, because it does seem very mushy, so. <laughs> it's moist. Yep, it's moist. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It like reminds me of German chocolate cake, so I wish it had that crunch of like the coconut or like some nuts up in there. It is warm, and I feel like if it wasn't warm, I would really not like it. Like, it would make the texture much worse, but a little bit of that, a little bit of the ice cream. It's pretty good. Have you ever had sticky toffee pudding? I have. I've also had the haagen sticky toffee pudding ice cream, which is also good. Like, it's a flavor? Yeah. Huh. Um, Does it have any? No. haagen never has, like, chunks in it, like Ben & Jerry's does it. it. I mean, it has chunks of sticky toffee pudding in it. Oh, it does? Yeah. But this huh. is like, um... This is a Gordon Ramsay type of thing, you know, like, he's known for making this, and ever since I saw it the first time, I knew Grace was like, mm, she's not going to like this, but dessert-wise here, they have this or ice cream and stuff. So, like, I figure we're at a British restaurant, we might as well try the British food. So, l'chaim. That's the best thing that I've had here all day today. If she could just get texture out of her head and just enjoy things for what they are, then she would agree that this is the best thing all day, too. Yeah, it was good. I usually just do a scoop of custard with uh, Oreo on top, and I'm happy. Boring. Well, I am a basic white girl. All right, guys, so we're going to show you the receipt here uh, <laughs> real quick. Um, we did get the sweet potato apple ginger soup with the pepper jack grilled cheese and then the potato and onion soup with the pepper jack grilled cheese. We also tried the cauliflower soup with the regular English cheddar cheese and I think I might have liked that better. The soup for sure, maybe the grilled cheese too. And then the sticky toffee pudding that you just saw. All in all, all in 35.52 for the tip for soup and sandwiches, I guess. 
feels a little high to me, but I'm cheap and I'm used to eating chunky soup and uh, peanut butter and jelly. So uh, we do know that everybody travels all over from the state to come here, so they can't all be wrong. So we just finished up eating at Payne's. I've been here lots of times with different friends and family, never with Brent before though, so it was a new experience for him. I really enjoyed the food, the service was great, she was really friendly, I enjoyed the company the best, but I, I like it. I've always liked it though, even since high school when it was just a coffee and custard. Yeah, really it's definitely a, a destination place that people from around here uh, talk about and come to. Um, I'd say it's the closest thing to a hipster joint that we have <laughs> in Grand County. Uh, it's, it's definitely hipster. For sure not my thing. That's probably um, why I like it. Yeah, she's a wannabe hipster still. Um, it, the food's good, don't get me wrong. It's just um, for what it is, for the price, for that atmosphere, whatever, it's kind of eclectic and weird and that's just not my style. It's hipstery. Um, it's hipstery. So, uh, definitely give it a try though. Uh, gotta get Garfield gotta in there. Gotta get Garfield in there, make sure everybody sees him. Make but, sure. Maybe he'll laugh. Hoo 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 hoo. Um, the most common thing here is fish and chips. We are not fish and chips people, so we are going to probably bring along some other people for a dinner date. Yeah, we'll come back sometime and do the dinner menu, uh, bangers and mash and fish and chips and things of that nature. Yeah, uh, might nibble a fish. Yeah, the more expensive things. Today was, I mean, grilled cheese. Oh, you're going to mess up a grilled cheese. Oh, but, white lunch. Yeah. Oh, white lunch. It's good. Not somewhere I'm going to frequent, but... Not your favorite, but that's okay. It's close to home, and it's fun, and it's different. So for shizzle. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.